Here comes the field for tonight's 10th race. Phillies and mares, no changes. Number one is Abercrow Debra, owned by Henry Yosefich, driven by Mark Ebers. Two, Rapid Roxy, owned by Donald Elmer. And Brian Brown, driven by Brad Hanners. Three, Fax Queen, owned by Fred Schroeder with Charlie Conrad. Four, J.D.'s Denser, owned by Robert Dalrymple with Ralph Leo Grande. Five is Amy Q, owned by Randy and Kim Owens. Michael Uren and Ross Chambers with Mike Wilder. Six, Ryan's Angel, owned by Harold Bowder, Alan Bowen, and Mike Dixon with Jody Essig. Seven is Grand Scooter, owned by Stephen Hettinger with Del S. Miller. Eight is Heart of the Matter, owned by the Springhaven Farm with Dan Ader. Nine is Satin Tell, owned by Gary Cattelier, Mary Vonderwell, and Darla Cattelier with Jeff Fout. Number 10 is Sea Power, owned by Maple Valley Farm. Jim Daly will be in the sulky. Field for the 10th, post time in less than six minutes. Starting gate is underway. Field for tonight's 10th race at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Fax Queen takes the lead. Ryan's Angel, middle of the racetrack. Closing up on the rail. Rapid Roxy there down the back stretch. Abercrow Deborah is fourth. Here comes Satin Tall, the late lever on the outside, fifth. Out of the second tier, C Power to sixth. JD's Dancer, seventh. Amy Q is eighth. Grand Scooter, ninth. Heart of the Matter is tenth. Battling for the lead of the opening quarter mile pole. Satin towel on the outside. Up to challenge 27 and 4. Off that top turn, racing past the stands. Satin towel brushes to the front. Fax Queen starches her pretty good in second. Rapid Roxy comes to the outside third. Here's Sea Power sweeping up on the outside to fourth. Abercrow Deborah is underway. Followed by Ryan's Angel, the little mare, JD's dancer. Amy Q is next. Fell up on the outside as they hit the half mile pole in 56 and 1. Far outside, Grand Scooter and Heart of the Matter as they roll down the back stretch. Plenty of action in here. Satin Towel throws in the towel. C Power gets the lead. C Power, Fax Queen is up on the outside. Nowhere to go for Rapid Roxy. Three horses now battling for the lead. From between horses, C Power up on the far outside, Fax Queen. Picking up the towel, here comes Satin Tow to regain the lead by a head. Racing by three quarters in a fast 126. Moving around the far turn. Satin Tow has got the top. On her heels in second, Rapid Roxy. Fax Queen on the outside. Sea Power gives way. We have a log jam in behind Satin Tow. She'll bring him through the stretch. Satin Tow on top. Moving up on the outside, Rapid Roxy. Sea Power's coming again. Far outside, Amy Q, Fax Queen, and Abercrow Debra. It's Rapid Roxy, Fax Queen, Abercrow Debra, third. This could be a real bomb in here. It's official. Here comes two Rapid Roxy, three year old Bay Philly by Look Sharp out of Opal B, owned by Don Elmer. And Brian Brown of Elmore and Upper Sandusky, trained by Brian Brown. Driven tonight by Brad Hanners, covering the mile in 156 and 2. Lifetime best for two, Rapid Roxy, the winner. 2 3 exact to $180, 60 cents. 2 3 1 try, 17 55 even. Windows are now up and on tonight's 11th race. 11th race, field of five, Phillies and Mares. Brought to you by Trader Bud's West Side Dodge. Start of the final pick three. There are two scratches in race number 13. Scratch four matching Rocky and scratch Oya. Four and five are scratched out of the 13th. Post time will be at 11.02. Next post, 11.02.